ครับครับสิสิสิไปไปไปไปไปนี่ปะเบลมิงไปไปไปเออหายสิเออมามามาไปมาไปเออนี่มาหายครับครับอาเลยมอร์นิ่งทุกคนอาจจะเห็นเราไม่มีปัญหาที่เราจะต้องรับกับและพวกสัตว์ต้องการเลี้ยงเบลล์ดังนั้นผมได้เลี้ยงเบลล์จากสัตว์ต่างๆในหลากหลายวิธีและคุณได้เห็นผมทำนั้นหลายวิธีแต่ครั้งล่าสุดที่ผมเอาเบลล์ออกจากหัวของสัตว์ถ้าเกิดว่าผมมีปัญหาเกี่ยวกับเบลล์ในหลายวิธีและคุณได้เห็นผมทำนั้นหลายวิธีแต่ครั้งล่าสุดที่ผมเอาเบลล์ออก Which is unusual, but it, it did frustrate me, frustrate me quite a bit. So today I decided I'm going to use a stone boat. And being that the there's no snow uh, for the bale to slide on, it's just as well. I was thinking about just using bale this morning, but I decided I gotta I gotta exercise them both, so I'll use them both. We got a little mud here on the sled, the stone boat, and we'll probably get more before we're done. But I have a wet round bale over here. Now, these bales were were wrapped. Um, well, they had twine them to start with, and they had plastic wrap on. I took the plastic wrap off of it. These bales vary so much in weight because is as they were baled up. If it happened to have a lot of uh, moisture in it, it's going to be a lot heavier bale. I remember getting these bales because I got them from the lower farm, and I actually showed uh, you guys me bringing them up. And a couple of these bales were so heavy. I could hardly lift them up with my old skid steer. Now I have my old skid steer here right now, and my new skid steer steer is rated for like 2,400 pounds. No, 2,000 pounds. I take, I'm sorry. And to handle that, it's not a problem at all. Um, 
Actually, I take that back. I don't even think it's rated for that. I think it's rated for less than that. But this one here is the smallest it's here and it's not rated for quite so much. Around 1500 is usually all it can lift up. And it's an old machine, so it's getting worn out. This bale, I just brought it over here this morning from my pile just beyond the horses there. And I could hardly lift it up. And so even now, I, I'm sure I can't really lift up that well, but I'm gonna at least get it over there and get rolled onto the stone boat so I can take them out so we can feed the cows. Well, even that wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. It's just so heavy, I can't lift it up. And uh, so I had to pretty well push it in place. And then there was a flat side of it and they wanted to flop right over into that flat side. I see we got one more twine here. There we go. So I have a little that fell off. I'm just gonna push it on. Hopefully it'll ride down all right, it should. But I think, I think right at the moment, it's sitting on this good enough it should ride. What do you think, Brenda? I think it looks okay. It's a little tipsy this way on the front there. But it's on that flat side, so hopefully it'll work. Let's give it a try. You want to ride with me or you want to walk? I'll walk. All right, couple steps. Looks like they just want to run this morning. Woo! I'm taking a ride this morning. The horses probably think what happened, it got really heavy. Colts are looking cute outside today. Jim plans on working the Percherons later too, so they're inside. Here come the cows. We got a ton of rain again last night, and um, so it's just awful wet, but I can see the green coming, and that's really exciting. And I have seen some pictures of a lot of different places, and they're already green. We're really slow here, but I know there some, are some places that are a lot slower coming to spring than we are even but it makes it all that much more glorious I guess you could say this stuff is really wet and really smelly but makes good feed <clears throat> Sometimes I feel bad for how much the horses have to pull and how fast they go, but really the thing is that they're going the speed that they want to go a lot. And he's not making them go that fast. That's a, the pace they want to go. Jim's always trying to slow them down. 
but they're just feeling so good. They have so much energy and <clears throat> they want to pull. We had a big discussion about that this morning. Let's see how the front of the sled looks. Not bad, I thought it would get full of mud. See my boots? If I don't watch it, I'm gonna be stuck. All in the day, in a day of filming. Jim's gonna leave the stone boat, of course, right under there and he'll bring it down with the horses after they eat the bale. I have a chain right underneath. I have a chain right underneath you where I brought a bale the other day. I couldn't pull my chain out. <clears throat> it is higher and drier here. Can't see my chain. Uh-oh. Hey, babes. I have to bring a a uh, fork back with me. Oh, there it is, right there. Yay. Good job. I was looking for a, like a rust-colored one. There was red on there. Is it heavy, guys? Not really. You get more exercise. You're gonna go for a little jog, I think. Tough step. A tractor through this. Now my skid steer won't get very far, that's for sure. That's what I sometimes use. I'll get it. Oh. <clears throat> Just a, a little note as to what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. If you notice, when I pulled out of this gate, I didn't put the horses right, their noses right towards home. I put them straight across the road. Sometimes I'll even turn them the opposite way. Just, it's just a really good habit. When you're all alone and you gotta drop your lines, you gotta think as to what's the best way to do it. G over there. G. Well, we, um, we fortunately live, or this is a place where you can see up and down the road a ways, so you can. That makes no difference. Just, There's nothing to do with that. No, I know, but I'm just saying, they were like in the middle of the road too. Right. That's the thing I was thinking yeah. about. Well, obviously, the car was coming, I wouldn't have done that. Right. Obviously. It's not um, very glamorous, what we're showing what we're showing. No, showing it's not. everybody all our mud and everything, but I mean, it is. Real life. It's real, our real, real life. Li real life on the farm in, yeah. in mud season. Some people don't have this and they have everything all oh, whatever tiled and stuff, but this is our real life. This is what we're living with. And Jim's made a lot of improvements over the years, but we still have a lot to go. And your your um, excavators help even make some improvements, but it's just life, you know? There's the colts over there. Wishing they were out here working. These horses are like kids. When they're at that age, they just so much want to help. And then when they get really able to help, they're not quite so willing. 